so happens that this tobacco basket works perfect for the size that I'm needing. So I'm just going to place them just like so, okay? And then I'm going to embellish by adding in a few other items. I have some lamb's ear greenery that I'm just going to start tucking in in some open areas, okay? You can kind of tuck it up underneath your pumpkins. You can bend it. It is wired, so you can manipulate it to fill in spaces um, easily. And I like it because it kind of fills in the open areas and um, I don't know, it just makes it look more lush. Now you could ob obviously go with something more that is traditional for fall. You could use like, um, if you're going more for um, like oranges, true oranges and, and beiges and, and fall colors, use something that will coordinate um, well with what your, you know, your pumpkins, your color scheme, okay? And I'm just decorating from the front angle so you can guys can see, but obviously you would want to do the same thing on the back side as well, okay? And then um, I have some, I bought these also at Hobby Lobby. These little velvet uh, covered little mini pumpkins came in a pack along with some pine cones. And so I like putting these, tucking these in as well in my display. Now, keep in mind when you scatter these around, you kind of want to alternate your colors a little bit just for more visual interest, okay? Obviously, wherever you have bigger uh, holes or bigger spaces, put your bigger pumpkins in there, okay? And then, I'm gonna put those over there. I love these little pine cones. You wouldn't traditionally think of pine cones with your fall decor, but they have some pretty browns and natural colors that work really well with my creams. And I even have a little bit of brown. You know, we have brown in the stems and in the moss that we use to embellish our pumpkins with. So really that brown um, from those pine cones really kind of coordinates nicely. Anytime you can repeat colors in an arrangement, um, you know, things look better. Whether you're repeating browns or repeating cream colors, and we're also repeating some blues as well. I think that might be all I need from that front angle. But you can see how well, just real quick, we put that together. That would be, make for a beautiful centerpiece make for a beautiful centerpiece for your island your dining room table could even look pretty on a coffee table or buffet or an entryway table as well so hope this helps thanks for watching